And we're back with our uh, candidate to video sit downs. Uh, moving to the congressional uh, candidates, this is for 6th District U.S. Representative. The man on the camera is William McPherson. Uh, he's running, uh, well, he states no party preference, so basically he's an independent, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So, uh, well, do you prefer Bill, William? Oh, Bill, really. Okay, Bill. Graybeard's a little awkward. <laughs> okay. But, uh, <laughs> That's another one of those nicknames. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Bill, take a couple of minutes to tell everybody about yourself, your background, why you're running, and why you feel you are the best candidate for the position. Well, my background is I was uh, born into a, two farming families back in central North Carolina, and uh, I, uh, well, of course, I learned how to farm, basically, and, mm -hmm. and uh, before I went into the military, and uh, 1957, and uh, spent two overseas tours in Germany and mm -hmm. one in Turkey. And uh, I decided to leave the military, and I worked in um, uh, several high-tech industries like IBM with computers that are antiques by now. In fact, is most people have never even heard of the ones that I worked on. <laughs> and uh, more recently, I've been in the um, medical uh, medical imaging equipment, CAT scanners, and I also helped with the MRIs, although I was not trained on MRIs. But they need at least two people there when they're doing certain things like mm -hmm. uh, changing the cryogenics, and it's a dangerous thing if you're by yourself. So that's uh, pretty much my background, and um, I've been a peace activist for several years. Okay. Okay. So what is your position on immigration reform? On well, immigration reform, I think we should look at uh, not just the border. I mean, the border is important. It's important to, uh, and there's a problem recently with so many children coming over, and we're just not knowing how to handle them. And I think one of them has been shot while he was still in Mexico. And uh, we just need to learn how to handle the younger crowd that's coming. And we need to look at the countries that they're coming from, why they're coming. They're not coming just because we're America. They're coming because the situation is so bad where they're coming from. And some of the reasons that things are so bad is because of some of the things that we have done in the past, our country have destroyed their governments, sometimes uh, democratically elected governments. And it's some of the corporations that were uh, being, they took, the, they took it that they were being uh, disadvantaged by their government, so we destroyed their government. So, it's a complicated situation, and we need to work both ends of it, or more in, all sections of it, basically. So, what can be done, moving on to a different topic, what can be done about ocean acidification and its impact to, to the uh, shellfish industry? Well, the ocean acidification is basically caused by the CO2 that we're putting into the atmosphere. And what we can do is we can get off of fossil fuel and uh, solar and wind energy are making big advances and making it uh, more feasible to go on down. There's also uh, geothermal, which can fill uh, can help fill in the times when the sun's not shining and the wind's not blowing. 
because those two are intermittent. Geothermal can work all, uh, at all times. There's no end of it. And, of course, there's hydroelectric. Hydroelectric can be adjusted to fill in the time, too, because the turbines don't have to run all the time. They can stop and start almost instantly. Uh, so those two can help balance out the times when, like I said, the wind is not blowing and the sun is not shining. Where do you stand on stricter uh, regulations for firearms? I defend our right to own firearms. However, everybody needs to go through a background check to make sure he's mentally stable, has the ability to, to and needs training for firearms as well. But for these uh, weapons meant for wars, they have no business in uh, the hands of people that don't have a, a reason for having them. These high-capacity ca high clips, anything over maybe a capacity of 10, I don't know what all uh, capacities are, are available. I know they're talking about 30 and more in some of them. And if you need 30 clips or 30 shots to kill a deer, you're a horrible shot, that's for sure. And the deer has probably gone out of sight after you've shot the first two. And there's just no, no need for those. Not legitimate needs, that is. If you want to kill a lot of people, yeah, well, more power, power to you. But we don't want those kind of people out there. What do you think the size and duties of the U.S. military should be? Well, of course, defending our country is the primary uh, reason for them. We should have an, an active uh, capacity to defend the country at all times. We should have a reserve that are not active, but ready to go in case of an emergency. And uh, it should be much smaller than it is now. There's no need to have enough people. Well, we have so many bases all around the world. Three quarters of them could probably be closed without any increase in uh, danger from attack. We have, um, we need to get rid of uh, nuclear weapons, period. Uh, I think the Russians are willing to get rid of them, but we got to do it at the same time or at the same rate. I mean, we can't expect them to get rid of all of our all of theirs before we get rid of them. Israel definitely needs to get rid of theirs. And of course, Iran's need to be uh, stopped if they, if they are actually uh, trying to build nuclear weapons. We know they have plenty of centrifuges, but uh, we don't know what they're doing with it. Are you in favor of increasing the minimum wage? If so, uh, how do you propose to go about raising that wage to lessen the impact on a small business? Well, I am in, in favor of raising it. I don't know exactly what uh, the end result should be. Of course, the end result for five years from now, it should be still going up afterwards. But it should be in uh, steps, particularly for small businesses. I think uh, big business could go to 15 an hour without any major problems at all. They should be, most of them are already paying, for the most part, 
except for those like uh, McDonald's and uh, Walmart. And I'm sure there are several others as well, but those two are probably the best known ones. Um, uh, just doing it incrementally for small businesses, uh, probably maybe 20% of the way, of the main goal, like so if it's from 15. And each year, 20% each year in five years, you know, you'd be up to 15 as well. How do you plan to represent all areas of your district and especially the in the smaller, less uh, populated areas? Well, I intend to listen to the citizens out there and the small business people. Uh, I think the big bu big business has a plenty of representation already and more influence than they need, obviously. They are uh, controlling practically everything that Congress does through their influence, their campaign contributions, and um, our Supreme Court isn't helping a lot either. Mechanisms are causing more problems. Um, but the main thing with the with our, my constituents here is listening to their things, and I think we could do more on uh, the tourist industry, bed and breakfast type things, uh, small restaurants. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, well, my main goal basically is getting um, the corruption in uh, elections. There's been uh, a bill called Fair Elections Now Act has been uh, before Congress for five, six years at least anyway, but it's never gone anywhere. That would be a big start on, well, what it does is for small contributions from a wide range of citizens, they're, uh, they're matched by Three, four or five times the amount from the federal treasury. And um, we just need to get the big business out of the, we need to get uh, Citizens United decision from the Supreme Court reversed. There's a big push in the country about the citizens to do that. Many states, I think, have already passed the resolution to do it. And then I'll let's see the tax structure. Mm -hmm. It is awful. Warren Buffett is, you know, disturbed that his secretary pays a higher rate of tax than he does. And that's absolutely incredible. And it's not just the rates, it's all of the loopholes that they have. Mm -hmm. So we need to get rid of them. We need to get rid of uh, or close down somehow the offshore tax shelters as well. Okay. William McPherson, he's running for the uh, 6th District U.S. Representative. No party preference. He's an independent. Thank you for taking some time and talking to us. Thank you.